um, Nigel Dodds, leader of the DUP in Westminster. What's your reaction to the news that the meaningful vote on the Brexit deal is delayed? Well, I mean, nothing surprises me anymore in this place. I mean, the Prime Minister should have realised uh, from the moment that she came back with this deal that it wasn't going to fly. She persisted and persisted. She's been running around telling people as late as this morning that the, the vote would go ahead and that this was the only deal the EU wouldn't renegotiate. Uh, she was commending it. And now she's pulled it. And, you know, the only reason that she can pull it is to go back and try to get something better. I mean, quite frankly, it's a bit of a humiliation for her. And, uh, but it's one that she's brought upon herself. Right. Do you still have faith in the Prime Minister? Well... It's not a question of faith in her. What I want to see the Prime Minister is do is what she promised previously, but her actions haven't matched her words, unfortunately. I mean, what, what she says today in the House will be absolutely critical. I mean, if this is another question of kicking the can down the road and hoping to get some tweaks and changes to some kind of political declaration or some statements out of Brussels and so on, she knows now that that won't work. So, you know, let's have a bit of transparency, openness and honesty from everyone in government who's been telling us up to now that this is the only deal and are now having to come to the House of Commons and admit it isn't the only deal. Uh, quite frankly, um, it's a bit of a shambles and, and they need to realise that when they cross red lines, uh, they're in trouble. Right, but the question is, Nigel Dodds, you are still in a confidence and supply agreement with the government, with the Prime Minister, Theresa May. Have you still got full confidence in her delivering what you want? Well, we'll wait and see what she says this afternoon. Let's, let's see what she's going to do. Let's see whether she's prepared to go back and get that withdrawal agreement, the legally binding part, changed. Is she prepared to put it up? to Europe and to, to the other governments that are holding the country to ransom at the present time because Europe needs a deal and the Irish government certainly needs a deal. Uh, but the terms of that backstop are totally unacceptable as she must have known for some time and has delayed and delayed and prevaricated. So let's wait and see what she says Okay. and, that's it, and then wait and see what she does. Have you been in talks with Labour? No, the only talks that we have had with Labour were in relation to the contempt, the very successful moves that we and the Labour Party and others uh, managed to bring about last week in terms of the contempt motion because the government would, didn't want to publish the legal advice and no wonder they didn't want to publish it. And I think that the publication of that legal advice has gone a long way mm. to reminding people as to the bad deal that this is. But in terms of any other discussions about the way forward, we haven't had any such discussions right. with the leadership of the to uh, Labour Party. So you can rule out any discussions with Labour leadership or otherwise about a motion of a vote of no confidence in Theresa May's leadership? Yes. Right. Um, in terms of what you would like now, you want the Irish backstop taken out of the withdrawal agreement. The EU has said categorically that that is not going to happen. But Boris Johnson, the former foreign minister, says that's exactly how he would conduct the negotiations. Did you like uh, what you heard? Well, I, I, I like what a lot of people in the Conservative Party are saying about the backstop, not just Boris Johnson. They, they, they see the dangers and the traps involved sure. in, in the backstop. But I'm and asking also you, did you agree with what Boris Johnson said when you heard him yesterday? Yes, I did. Right, well, let's just, let's just have I a mean, listen. Uh, let, I on. also agree, but let me finish. Yeah, I, I also agree with a lot of what other leading Conservatives have said, and indeed what Jeremy Corbyn has said about the backstop as well. So, um, you know, I, 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 I listen with care to what everybody's now saying, and it agrees with our analysis on the backstop. All right, well, let's have a listen to what Boris Johnson actually said. Here he is. We think, actually, what people want to hear is how do we get out of the mess of the backstop? And what you need to do is, is remit the solution of the Irish border problem to discussion in the FTA, do a big FTA, withhold a substantial chunk of the money and start now to make the preparations for coming out with no deal that we should have sincerely made two and a half years ago. So that's a policy you could support, Nigel Dodds? Well, I think that what it does is makes best use of the time that we now have available. Uh, what, what, what we want to deal with the uh, European Union, I mean, the DUP has always been very clear about it, but this whole process has been bedeviled since last December with concentration of negotiations on the fallback position, a position entirely brought about by Theresa May agreeing to the backstop in the first place. Oh. So I agree entirely 
that it should be a matter of the future trade negotiations because we'll only properly understand the nature of what needs to be done at the Irish border All to right. avoid a hard border when we know what the future relationship is. Uh, Boris Johnson and Nigel Dodd.